Welcome to episode 15. I'm Sean Deedle, and this is the Purpose Driven Funnel Show. I'm embarking on a journey to grow a successful online business so I can break free from my 9 to 5. The question is, how will I do it? Find out right here on the Purpose Driven Funnel Show where you will get an insider's view as I interview experts who have succeeded. I'm doing it because my why is bigger than my 9 to 5. Life is meant to be a joy, not a chore. Will you join me? Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash funnels. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hey everybody, it's good to be back with you after a couple of weeks off. That really was a couple of weeks of unplanned time off from the show, to be honest with you. Uh, We were kind of planning to move, but things on that timeline got moved up a lot sooner than we had originally expected, and so kind of felt found ourselves uh rushing around trying to get everything done in a 7 day period there was some traveling on going on during that time and my daughter turned 1 year old so uh you know we ha- had a little weekend trip there that uh just took up some time it was really kind of impossible for me to do a show while I was on the go and I was really wanting to, I was really planning on it, but it just didn't seem to work out. So I'm glad to be back with you guys and uh, and talking with you. We've had a lot of really good interviews over the past few weeks. And I know I've learned a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I've learned quite a bit from, from these awesome people that have just come on the show and really just kind of shared their hearts, shared their tips and advice and information with us about how to you know best run and start a business, particularly a funnels business, getting traffic, how to get people through your funnels, all kinds of stuff. It's been it's been really eye opening, and uh, I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting some more interviews, which is another reason I ended up with a two week time off on the show because I I ran out of uh, scheduled interviews, and I've I. Just that time of me going through trying to make all the move and all this crazy stuff going on, I burned through those uh, reserve interviews that I had, to be honest with you. So I hadn't even had time to really reach out and try to see who else we could get on the show. But I think I've made some pretty good connections and we'll be getting some interviews back on the show for you guys so that we can learn more about how this funnels business works and learn from those experts but I want to talk a little bit about the struggles you know that that go along with you know having your full-time job like I've got and ha- you know being able to manage a business having a family you know it's uh I've got a new job now that's really just taking up a lot of time and it really creates a lot of stress because there's there's not enough hours in the day really to devote to all the things in an equal amount of time or in the appropriate amount of time that I need to spend on them. And to be honest with you guys, during this last couple of weeks, I really was struggling with just, man, I just need to drop something. Something has got to, I got to let something go. I mean, I've got... My job, got the family going. Obviously, those are things I can't just let go. I got to pay the bills. Of course, I'm not going to abandon my family. That's crazy. Um, I'd rather abandon my job than my family. And um, you know, then then I have this business that I'm doing. I've got this podcast show. I've got a side business going as well. And, and of course, there's all the things you got to do in your normal day to day stuff at home in the household, right? Keep the house clean, make sure the yard's done, and all these bills get paid, and dealing with all this stuff that just happens on a daily basis. It's just can be overwhelming. And uh, honestly, I really was considering dropping the podcast. I was, 
I ran out of those interviews. I was really just kind of feeling down about it. I'm like, man, I don't, I just don't know if I can keep doing this. I don't know if it's going to, you know, help anybody, if it's going to amount to much of anything. And I, I went back and forth, you know, with do I continue, do I not continue while, uh, while life was going crazy. I've always had this in the back of my mind. And um, here I am again. I, I decided to go ahead and continue. And the reason really was that I think that at some point, I don't know this for a fact right now, but at some point I think that these episodes are going to help somebody just like me. I'm hoping to look back at this time and say, you know what, I'm glad it continued. It really helped me. It really helped a lot of other people. And I did break out of my 9-to-5 job and I did create a successful business. So that's what I'm really hoping for you and for me. And uh, so just a quick update on you know my business and where I'm at after all this great learning and all this time that's passed. It's been almost about a year since I really started um, moving in the direction of this funnels business. And it started out where I was doing affiliate marketing, trying to figure that out, learn how to build funnels and learn how to get traffic and do ads and all that stuff. And I did that for several months and rather unsuccessfully, I might add, and really never sold any affiliate products at all or services of any kind. Uh, I learned a lot and that was probably the first eight months or so of my business and that was really my intent. It was an affiliate marketing business. That was what I got into it for because it really was something that spoke to me personally um, that I don't have to create my own products and stuff, and I can just sell something uh, from somebody else that I really, you know, feel passionate about. Well, after that, I kind of, you know, I got discouraged after eight months of just nothing. But I looked back and I'm like, you know, I learned a lot. And in talking to my business coach Steve Penny, who was on the show um, back on episode four, and you know, I keep in touch with him fairly regularly, and he, you know, he encouraged me to start a podcast and that was kind of the next step in this whole thing um and and getting this podcast together so that i can kind of get my story out to help other people to you know to to find a platform to get experts and get their advice and get their you know input so we can be successful at this thing but at the same time my affiliate marketing business kind of morphed into another branch where I started thinking about looking for clients to do some consulting like helping them build funnels, helping them get traffic going, get ads. You know, I knew how to do all the things in, in practice. I had done them. Um, I just, you know, wasn't able to successfully sell anything myself, but I figured, you know, if I can drive traffic to somebody who, you know, maybe does have a successful funnel, I can help them get more traffic that would be worthwhile to them. And I could expect, you know, probably to get paid for that. Or at the same time, I knew how to build a funnel. I knew what the pieces were. I knew how to put them together and I could help those who don't know. So there's always somebody out there that, You know, you're a little bit better than. And so that's kind of the person I was targeting and decided to, you know, put some stuff together uh, and ended up landing a a client. And so even right now, I'm working on my very first client ever. And I, I got that client first by just putting out an offer that was so low and so ridiculous it was impossible for somebody who wanted that service to say no. And that first service was just uh, a fifty dollar put together a Facebook ads campaign for this person, and uh, you know, and run that campaign for them for two weeks for fifty bucks. That's like totally unheard of. But I thought, well, you know, I got to get something. I got to get a client in. I got to get my first one behind behind me, and and just get that experience in. And so. It did not take long at all. I put that message out there like the first time I put it out there. Somebody grabbed it and was like, yeah, I want that. I'm going to do it. 
and I was like, holy crap, <laughs> what am I going to do now? I've got, I've got somebody that's actually going to pay me 50 bucks. Granted, 50 bucks is nothing, but when it's your first sale, it's like a huge deal. It's like that first dollar when you open your store, right? You don't want to frame that somewhere. It's like, it's a huge deal. And for me, 50 bucks doesn't buy much, but it went a long ways in giving me confidence saying, wow, I think I can do this. However, there is a next part of that. You've actually got to do the work and do it successfully so that you can get that testimonial and the next one will be easier to get. So I, man, I worked like a madman for that job for 50 bucks and I put hours and hours and hours of work into this guy's Facebook ads. Um, and I, you know, I did the very best I could because my thought process was, yeah, I'm spending all these hours and it's totally not worth 50 bucks for me to do that. But to the, for having something at $50 and over delivering that, it makes it a lot easier to over deliver on 50 bucks than it would 500 bucks or even more, right? Especially when you're new and you're trying to make a name for yourself or trying to get yourself out there. So that was my thought process. Well, apparently uh, he liked the service enough that I actually signed on my first client, that same person that I got for 50 bucks that first job. Now I'm working on uh, his ads in Google because I did get Google certified for Google ads. So, uh, and it's a lot more than 50 bucks. And now I'm like at, you know, my first client, 300 bucks for the month. So that that's really huge. And I wanted to share that with you guys because it, you know, it feels good, but it's, it's hard. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of grinding and trying to balance all the, you know, the life with work and family and everything. And it's a lot of late nights and getting up early and stuff. But man, it, it just feels good to get that behind me and have that first sale going. Now, I'm, you know, I'm still in the middle of that project. It's a month long project and I'm hopefully going to be able to sign this person up month after month. That's the plan. And, uh, I guess time will will tell, but it's it's really like if you just want to get started, you know, number one, don't overprice yourself when you're starting because, I mean, like I said, it's very hard to over deliver when you're new and trying to get yourself out there and make yourself known, but it's very easy to make somebody happy when they've paid a pretty low price for something. I mean, it's like almost impossible. You want to make it pretty much impossible for somebody to be able to say something bad about your service even if it totally didn't do what they hoped it did they could at least say something great about it and you know i did that campaign i didn't really get too many opt-ins or anything for his funnel you know it was only a two-week period but again it was only 50 bucks but you know i over delivered in such a way that i mean the, the guy really liked my customer service and the level that I served him at and that that really spoke volumes in terms of you know what he was kind of looking for and hoping for so you know I didn't get him the results he wanted but it gained enough trust with him that he wanted to put me to work at a little bit higher level and even to say you know 300 bucks for doing a Google Ads campaign what I'm doing for him is worth a whole lot more than 300 bucks. It's still a ridiculous price. And that's kind of the key though. So I've upped the game, I've upped the level, I've upped the service, and upped the price just a little bit. So right now, where I'm at is I started analyzing that 300 bucks a month. Like, man, if I'm ever really going to... This is a good deal. I mean, first of all, it's easy to get clients in for that price. I could probably get quite a few at that price. But I'm like, man, I'd have to get like a lot to really try to even begin to replace my income and quit my job. So like, it's just not possible for me to be able to work part-time that amount of hours I would need to get like, I don't know, like 20 clients or something crazy like that to consistently work on every month. That's a lot. There's no way I could do that. So I really got to reflecting on it and thinking about this whole consulting thing and realized that uh, I need to charge a whole lot more. 
and I came across somebody that was talking about consulting business. So I jumped on his free webinar. You know, it's a, it's a funnel, but he got ahead a free webinar and it just gave me a lot of value, a lot of good information, made me really think about what I was charging and what I could charge. So after that webinar, what I learned from him was that I'm going to put together, and I actually am crafting the structure of this services right now, that I'm going to put together a $2,000 per month package that I'm going to try to land to help people get traffic in their funnels and get people through their funnels and get sales going. So that's that's going to be my, my next thing. But when I thought about it, man, 2000 bucks, I wouldn't need very many people you know, on a monthly basis to do that. But now I started getting all these other thoughts like, am I good enough? Am I capable of doing that? Can I deliver at that level or better? Because you always want to over-deliver. And so I'll have all of these doubts coming through right now that I'm struggling with. But you know what? My thing is, if I don't try, I certainly will never charge 2000 bucks successfully. That will never happen. But if I put it out there and maybe I have a few nibbles but nobody bites... As long as I get at least a few nibbles, then I know I've got something worthwhile. Then there, I just need to figure out, okay, why are they not biting? What do I need to tweak? What do I need to change? And and just keep working at it until I finally get that bite. And when I finally get that bite, when you get there and you get that high level, that high price ticket, you don't need very many of them. And like I said, you get that first testimonial, the next ones are going to be easier. So... That's kind of a long story to, to say kind of where I'm at and kind of what I've learned and how my business and what I originally started out with has really changed. Now, consulting is you know is not for everybody, obviously, um, and I still like affiliate marketing. I still want to do that, but I think for me right now, the real value is that consulting and trying to get those, those clients uh, signed on. And uh, really get that momentum built because, you know, my goal is to be rid of my job before my daughter's four years old. She just turned one. That means I've got three years left. It's not a whole lot of time. But if I can get this thing tweaked out this year and figure out how to get that first $2,000 client, I don't think it will be hard to meet that three-year timeline. So I want to encourage you guys that... It is hard, that grind, when you're started. I've been grinding for a year. I've been changed focus like a couple of different times. And that's that's another thing I want to talk about, which, you know, you don't really want to change. I wasted a lot of time by changing focus and and stopping the momentum on what I was doing and started a brand new momentum from the bottom on something else. So really think about what you want to do, whatever that thing, that one thing is that you decide to commit to it for as long as it takes until you get results. If you just commit to it and stay focused, I'm convinced if you work hard at it consistently, you can get some results in a year or less. I say a year because I think it's realistic when you're brand new and you're learning how to do things. Um, but if you can just do that for a year, like that's the hardest part is getting those first sales. You know, my coach told me before, the hardest part is getting it to a thousand dollars a month. If you can get to a thousand dollars a month, getting to ten thousand dollars a month is super easy. It's just doing more of what you're already doing that's successful. So that's kind of the model and the focus I've been using. So just want to encourage you guys, pick something, stick with it. Pick something that you know you can stick with that you won't go and try to chase you know shiny objects every time something else comes around it's got to be something you're passionate about something that you know really speaks to you personally that gives purpose and meaning to your life and and what you're doing and the purpose and meaning behind what i'm doing right now is you know i i get to help struggling entrepreneurs struggling business owners that need clients i mean that's one of the biggest things in the research i've been doing that you know, small business owners online want need they want and need new leads. 
And it's very difficult to do that. And I've spent a year now learning how to do that. So I think it's really good that I can kind of help people kind of kind of like where I was a year ago, you know, except for they have successful businesses and they just need more leads. Um, so that's just kind of my personal story and my business update right now. So just take that one thing, focus on it and don't, don't look anywhere. Don't look left. Don't look right. Just keep plugging away straight ahead. Get some help. Get a mentor. Get a coach. Whatever it takes. Watch free webinars. Get into people's funnels. And you know, just consume all the free stuff you can. Um, and if you find something super valuable, buy it. If it's going to help you with the one thing that you're doing and you've got the funds to do it, or you can raise the funds by selling some stuff around the house on, you know, uh, eBay or Facebook or whatever. Sell it, buy the thing, and get that momentum started. But just keep going in the same direction. Don't go to the left. Don't go to the right. And keep plugging away. And I know that we will meet with success. So that's really all I've got for you guys today. Um, I am planning to try to get uh, another session with my business coach and I think I'm actually going to record that one. He said I could from that episode four when I talked to him. So I'm going to see if I can get him scheduled and try to get that interview on hopefully for the next week, episode 16. Um, But we'll see how the scheduling works on that. And uh, I just want to encourage you guys to you know, go to my website, the PurposeDrivenFunnels.com, you know, the show's website, and sign up on my email list. And the reason uh, that you should do that is you're going to get, you know, insider information on, from the show, from, you know, updates from me, updates about the show, special things that nobody else but you are going to get. And stuff that I'm not going to put out on a Facebook page, stuff that I'm not going to put out on any other social media outlet or on the show, those things are going to go to those special people who sign up on my email list to want to get those things. And I'm working on some really special things right now that I want to give to those people who sign up on my email list, some free stuff that is really going to help you in your business, stuff that I wished I had more of when I was starting out so I can help you guys kind of, uh, you know, launch a little bit faster. And, you know, so just get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me there personally. I will reply to all my emails personally. It's not going to be some you know email bot or whatever. There may be a couple of auto responders and some emails that go out, just kind of giving you information to get you introduced and everything. But I, I'm, I was just a, a click of the reply button away from you guys. So be watching for those emails that come out and here in the hopefully near future as I'm working on some really special stuff for you guys. So um, I will see you next week on episode 16 i'm looking forward to see you guys there and i'm wishing you all success on your purpose-driven business journey god bless